Uh-huh. I broke my other ones again. Mm. Mm-hmm. So my issued ones. Yeah. I they feel like um Yes man when Carl puts his glasses <laughs> <laughs> She super glued them Annoying. twice and they have broken twice. Annoying. So now she's back to issued ones or this brown and blue pair that she doesn't love. So we need to go back and buy more. We are having chicken salad for lunch with some pita chips. Real quick lunch because we have decided that today is the day of a reckoning to start painting baby girl's room. I guess we can call her by her name now because they've seen the name reveal. Today is the day that we start painting Everly's room. We're going to start with the white, and then later we have gray that we'll do on some of the walls. But today is the day for the white part. So we just went to Make Men, which is that hardware store, and got some supplies. So we're about to go start painting. I'm so excited. We thought about changing the plan for ease and keeping the walls the ivory that they are, but we decided we're going to go with the original plan. So you guys will start to see some progress in her nursery today. All right, so we're going to have a quick lunch and then we will take you guys upstairs and start doing some good stuff in Everly's room. I love you. Hey, will you turn the air down? I just did for 75 to 73. Do you think that's enough? Yeah, thank you. I, I, love you. I feel like Dexter in here. <laughs> you can say it on the vlog. That's funny. I did. I feel like Dexter. <laughs> So the stencil came this week. We haven't unrolled it yet. It's just been in the little tube that it came in. But this wall, the ceiling, windowsill, those paint samples, part of the closet trim, and the door trim. Now we've got the dehumidifier in here. We've got the windows open. So just gonna let it dry be done for today I like it a lot looks good so much better oh hi <laughs> Nellie is cutting squash and zucchini for our dinner tonight and she's cooking chicken for whoa sorry for chicken sandwiches for lunch this week she was grilling them but our girl ran out of propane so I just did the dishes, now we're doing laundry. It's a very productive day. And I'm ready to sit down. I'm gonna tell an embarrassing story. Which one? Okay. Oh, <laughs> story time, guys. <laughs> so I'm on the rifle range this week, and we so we were there Friday, practicing, whatever, getting our rifle set. So we're doing our police call where we pick up the brass and the trash and went and threw mine away and I came back so everyone's kind of filing that way and I come back and there's a berm and then stairs that you walk down right well they're painted and I honestly can't tell you how it happened but I fell so hard <laughs> 
I don't know if my foot slipped on the paint or what, but next thing I knew, I was trying to, and I'm going down, trying to catch myself. There was no catching. And <laughs> there's a point in your mind when you're falling and it just clicks, like, all right, just friggin' go with it. Like, Tuck and roll. Can't, yeah, you can't <laughs> save yourself. So I'm just down, boom, 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 falling down these stairs. My rifle goes flying, crash, bang. And how do you recover from that? <laughs> like, you gotta kind of like, like play it off. <laughs> In the midst of it all, like I get up and I freaking eye lock, con eye contact with another Marine. And I'm like, I'm okay. And I turn and look and there's my friend Tim. He's walking along. Ignoring the whole thing. <laughs> I think he was trying to act like he didn't see me so I wouldn't be embarrassed. You know, like how'd that like, go? Uh, definitely saw him. <laughs> I told him later, I said I probably would have been better if you laughed at me. Because <laughs> I, I was laughing. But I tore up my knees. Aww, babe. Yeah, that's ah, pain. sushi. But yeah, yeah, she got a cut on this side, a pretty good bruise and Bruised then a little up. Yeah. So, I couldn't walk very well. <laughs> And she tore her pants, yeah, her, my camis. her work camis. So now they're field camis. Bummer. They're unserviceable, as we say. Yeah. She's hurt real bad. It's so, been like two days, and it still is very sore. Just imagine if I, okay, if I was watching an officer <laughs> fall down stairs <laughs> and just eat dirt, I would have a hard time not laughing. <laughs> and always remember that officer that busted uh -huh. on the uh -huh. That was me. Yeah. Well done, honey. Really well done. I know. <laughs> so, that's embarrassing falling down the stairs. No big deal. Hi, kiddos. Hello. They were both in the room with us while we were painting. Shepard got a little bit of paint on his chest. Sushi, come here. She got paint. I wiped off some of it. She, Shepard, go away. She got paint in these little whiskers above her eyes, so she looks kind of silly. Hi, kiddos. Yeah, they were a little annoying while we were trying to paint, but it's all in good fun. This week was Prime Day. I'm sure some of you guys did some damage, but we got a few really good deals on some things off our registry, and so now I am super excited to check the mail for the next couple weeks and get, these too big? get some of our goodies. No, it'll be fine. I mean, they're big, but it'll be, it'll be fine once they cook down a little bit. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I love to save money, and so anytime we can save $20. Spends money to save money. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Did he get it? No. no. He, he did for a second, but then he let it go. So she gets when something falls on the floor and sushi gets it, we have to give one to Shepard just to be fair. So they both just got a piece of squash. Anyway, so we got some really good Prime Day deals and um, I'll show you guys as they come in. But we saved over $100 on our pack and play and we saved $30 on our baby carrier. So I'm really excited about that. And I think that's it for now. Oh. So baby Kelly is 29 weeks now. I realize I should show my belly more because when I want to look back on these and I don't remember how many weeks or how big I was, I'm going to regret it. So here is Everly at 29 weeks. Excuse my pajamas. I took off my paint clothes and just put on lounge stuff. So she is uh, 29 weeks. She's about the size of a butternut squash. Butternut squash. Squatternut Bosch, if you watch Friends. Uh, she's now, should be about 15 inches or a little more, and like two and a half pounds. So it's really exciting. Um, she's filling out now, getting a little more fat. They said before she was really, really skinny as she grew taller, and now she's filling in. So her weight will be increasing, but her height not so much because she's already a decent amount of what she's going to be when she's born. So, um,. I thought there was something else I was going to say. Are you being a creeper? <laughs> I don't remember what else I was going to say about her. Is this what we use? Yeah, the big one. Anyway, so I have family coming in town in just a few weeks, and I'm very excited about it. Someone's going to be staying in Everly's room, so we need to get that all situated in the next couple weeks. And actually, Nellie is going away. She's got a little conference in the States, so she's going to take about a week 
Normally when they send you to the States, you can tack on leave with it and go visit family, but it's just really terrible timing yeah. for everybody. So I don't finish the rifle range till the end of the week, so I can't tack on leave at the beginning. Of the trip. Yeah. And then we have the conference, and at the end of the trip, I need to be home by that mon before that Monday. So it just isn't going to work out. But I think my pops will get to come travel to see me instead of me going to see him. So it's very exciting. I haven't seen him in over a year. Yeah. I know. She'll get to see her dad probably next weekend, and then my mom will be coming the weekend after. So we're excited to get a little family, mm -hmm. fill up our cup, so to speak. Mazel <laughs> All right, I'm going to go help with dinner now. Well, this lady has to get up stupid early in the morning. Like 1.30? Yeah. She told you she's on the range, rifle range, this hi, week. Hi. And it's super early and really far away, so got to get up very early. I am super tired and I don't know why. Make me up. <laughs> we were trying to finish an episode of Dexter just now and I was having a hard time. So it's bedtime now. Good night. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.